Freedom House came together in 1941 to essentially urge America into the war against fascism. At the time, and this was before Pearl Harbor, nine out of ten Americans did not want to get involved in the war uh, in Europe. Was, we were a deeply isolationist country. When fascism was defeated, we focused on combating uh, communism and totalitarianism. So now we work to expand and defend freedom by informing people around the world about those threats and challenges that freedom faces by mobilizing actors to be use their power and their voice to stand with those who are denied freedom and then to stand and to support those freedom activists around the world who are doing the frontline courageous work to push back on authoritarianism and those who would deny their freedom. The greatest threat to democracy today is probably apathy. Uh, apathy of those who have the great fortune to live on the right side of history in terms of democracy and therefore don't fully engage their institutions and don't work hard enough for their own democracy and somehow leave it to someone else uh, to make democracies better. Freedom House is a place that people across the world look to as a beacon for those who would seek democracy and a better future. What we're seeing in, with Putin's invasion of Ukraine is the exact thing which we're seeing around the world, which are those authoritarians who know that if they had to put themselves up to the will of their people, their power would quickly crumble and their only way to hold on is through violence. The situation of human rights in Venezuela is uh, nothing different than the situation of human rights under any dictatorship. Basically, we are um, under the control of a regime who decides who lives and who dies, who goes to prison and who uh, stays free, and basically control completely the economy and every aspect of our daily life in Venezuela. Sometimes, uh, the most difficult part of the fight is feeling alone and having organizations like Freedom House outside uh, being a bridge toward the world and supporting our work uh, is, has been the best way to make us feel good when we fight for freedom. I fervently believe that the defense of democracy is one of the existential issues of our time. Will we live in free countries and have the ability to choose our leaders? That's the question going forward. But we need to remember also that democracy is hard. Democracy is not a straight line. And I'm encouraged that there are so many more democracies today than many, many years ago, just a few decades ago. When we remember that and remember how far we've come, it gives us the energy and the strength to keep going. The most important thing we can do is raise our voice and use our nonpartisan, bipartisan credentials to sound the alarm bell. One of the things that I've been gratified about over the last several years is that there's still a demand for freedom in the world. It says to me that in the human heart, people want freedom. And that gives me hope that uh, we want to use that demand for freedom and we need to put the tools in the hands of people fighting for freedom so they can seize freedom for themselves. I think the fight for democracy is one of the most difficult fights uh, that anyone can do in their life, uh, trying to fight a dictatorship. And this is a David and Goliath situation. I know we will win one day. I know that one day we'll recover uh, democracy, but for me, what is most important is to never give up. Never give up until democracy is back in Venezuela. The end game is a world where all are free. 
And we will continue to do our work until we know that people are living freely around the world and we no longer have a world where people are denied their freedoms on a daily basis. I think Freedom House has been always uh, at the right time, at the right moment, uh, and the right actions for freedom around the world. So these last 80 years, I think they haven't missed a fight. They haven't missed a place uh, in order, uh, to help and to support. They had never closed their eyes uh, in front of um, the suffering of people being killed or tortured by awful regimes around the world. We cannot take democracy for granted. Democracy has to be fought for. Democracy has to be struggled for. People have to recognize it. I feel incredibly privileged to lead an organization whose sole mission is the protection and advancement of human freedom.